Hey guys, Ring Queen Lexa Rose here with another episode of Wrestling With Beauty. And today's look is called The Visions of Valhalla, which is inspired by a wrestling videography company called Valhalla Visions, which is run by uh, Robbie Blizzard. All their information is gonna be down below. Um, and I was just really inspired. They're a great group of guys. Uh, Robbie's always been a, a good fan and supporter and his company is one of the only companies that actually have their own championship belt, with, which is actually being held currently by Matt Wild. Um, their information will be down below as well. Um, he's currently the Valhalla Visions champion. And um, again, the only videography company that has their own championship. So you could definitely tell these guys are uh, pretty legit and they, their contributions to the wrestling community are phenomenally outstanding. I mean, you could say, but so they, nothing could do this company justice. No actual words. So, um, with that being said, this is my look called Visions of Valhalla, which is inspired by Valhalla Visions. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching don't hit pause don't hit clip video stay tuned and let's get this tutorial rolling okay guys so if you already know the drill by now I usually do my eyebrows and my baking off camera um, right now we're in the baking process we're gonna get started on the eye makeup because that's mainly what we're focusing on so I am going to go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, as you can tell. I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, that's that. And I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. And I really wish I had a better camera for you guys, but I don't. Um, but there's a link below if you wanna send donations so that I can get a better camera. I, I, I'm trying here. Like I said, I'm a one woman show. And I do a damn good job of it. So, we're just going to prime our eyelid. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in our Jaclyn Hill palette. And we're going to go for this color right here. That one. And we're just going to dip into it. And we're just going to start the base to our crease. So, just go lightly with windshield wiper motion. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into the wild colors. We're gonna hit up Calavera on our Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, which is this yellow rat her. We're just gonna pop that on there so we could build up the orange. Okay, so now that we've got the yellow in, we're gonna go in with Jones, which is this orange color. I don't know if you can see it so well. See? It's really really nice intense orange and we're gonna pop that right on top because remember it's a lot of oranges and stuff so we're gonna th throw this right in on the crease okay now we're gonna try and deepen that orange we're gonna go right into this color C's which is right above uh, Jones to try and give it a more intense orangey look Okay, so as you can see, we've got the orange. Uh, we're going to just go back a little bit with that color um, Jones, just to kind of mix it with the color C's. And we're just going to throw that one more time in just to kind of really get that orange to stand out. Because we're going to put the bluish silver on top uh, of the cut crease. So it's going to be way dramatic and two completely different dramatic colors so we want that orange to really really stand out okay so to kind of give the crease definition we're going to go right into this brown color right here and we're just going to throw that just real lightly in the crease so that when we do the cut crease it kind of gives it like more definition and doesn't just look like 
a cloud of orange on my eyelid. Okay, so the next step's gonna be a little weird because I'm not using concealer for this cut crease. I'm actually using my Care Bears Liquid Lipstick in Grumpy Bear to kind of do the helmet of the Viking on their logo, uh, which is kind of like a light bluish with some silver undertones. So we're just gonna grab ourselves a flat little concealer brush. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little flat, and then we're just gonna go right in and start popping that right on the lid. Okay, so the silver came out a lot better than I expected. We're just gonna go in with another flat eyeshadow brush this one already has blue on it from like makeup I did yesterday but it's the same exact blue I'm going to need for the eyelid and I'm gonna go right into metamorphosis which is right there and we're just gonna put a little bit on the brush and pack it right on there and then um, we'll go on with the next step from there. Okay, now for the outer corners, we're gonna go into our Jaclyn Hill palette and we're gonna go into this really nice dark blue one, which is really, really pretty. And we're gonna put that all over the outer corner of our eyes. Okay. Just take it on a flat brush. I use the same brush only because it kind of helps me blend both blues together. So we're just gonna go right in the corners and we're just gonna bring that out. Okay, so I'm going to intensify the blues here on the outer corners, and I'm going to go with Minx, which is right there, and we're just going to pop that right on top of that blue color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So. Just like that. Next, we're going to grab a fluffy brush, and we're just going to kind of blend out these harsh lines. We are almost done. So with that being said, we're going to do the horns, uh, which is actually going to be quite fun. Again, coming out of my comfort zone to do stuff like this. I'm going to start with my Urban Decay Heavy Metal in Glam Rock. We're going to do that for like the edge of the helmet and then curve them upwards, like really curve them upwards so that it looks like the horns on the um, Valhalla Visions Vikings helmet. So, and then I'm gonna just go on top of it with the black to kind of outline it and make it stand out. So, here we go. Okay, so now that we've got the liner down, we are gonna go into the next step of turning that liner into actual horns or helmet, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to start doing the designs now. Okay, so as you can see, I tried my hardest to do the horns on the helmet as best I could. I think I did a pretty darn good job of it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off the rest of the bake and then I want to like kind of smoke out the bottom lash. So, let's get to it. Next, we're gonna go with our Tardius Pro Glow To Go. And I'm gonna go with this color right here to just do my contouring. And I'm just gonna use this brush that usually comes with my hula bronzer. Cause it just kind of works. Okay, next we're gonna grab uh, my NYX Ombre Flush, uh, Ombre Blush in Sweet Springs, and I'm gonna tap in there. 
Just one like this. Very good. And then give yourself that sweet little pink blue. Got to snatch my knee. All right, so now we're going to finish by adding our highlighter and I'm going to go right back into the Pro Glow and we're going to go right into Burst, which is this middle color. It's a highlighter. And we're just going to dump that right there. Ooh. See how it looks from my angle. Ooh, ooh, ooh my. Okay, so this looks really, really lovely. And it smells good too. So, how about that? How about that? Okay, so we're gonna go into one of my Morphe M433. See, now I have the special now. I have a Morphe brush! And not just a brush that I call brush. So we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna go <laughs> right into. Oh my god, everything's falling apart on, on me, but it's okay, because it's a Morphe brush! We're going to go right into <laughs> Metamorphose, which is right here, and we're going to dust that on the bottom lid, oh, bottom lid, right here under the waterline, and then what we're going to throw on top is Minx to kind of darken it up, but first this one and then Minx. Okay, so now we're gonna go right into Minx and pop it right on top. The last step now is to highlight our brows and our inner corners. So we're gonna go right into our, my favorite parts of the Caribbean Dead Men Tail No Tails cheek contour kit. And oh my god, I'll be right back. Sad news, my friends. I don't know if you can tell, but because I dropped them on the floor and I try not to, this happened, so I gotta be a little bit more careful. But we're gonna go right into Fortune, which is this color right up here. It's like a shimmery white, and we're just gonna pop that right on our brow bone and our inner corners. Okay, so now that we've got the eyes done, we're gonna do the lips, and I'm gonna go into my Care Bear Liquid Matte in Cheer Bear and Share Bear, and I'm gonna create a really pretty ombre look with it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with Share Bear and then I'm gonna put Cheer Bear in the middle. So, let's get that going. Okay, now for Cheer Bear, which is going to go in the middle. And this is pretty bright pink color. It says Cheer Bear, but it's upside down, so. <laughs> I can't make these all serious and professional. I'm, I'm, I'm funny. I'm funny looking, and I'm quite freaking hilarious. So. Get into it. We blame. But you thought I was giving y'all the finger? Like, really? What's wrong with y'all? I love y'all. I'm my family. But you know, it's the finger I use to blend. clearly should have done it with the lights like this because somehow the natural light in my room is just acting up today and then, oh that's way too bright but you know one woman show this is the ghetto fried goodness of my makeup tutorial so this is the finished look <clears throat> called visions of Valhalla and it's dedicated and inspired by Valhalla visions who 
does amazing videography for Rampage Pro Wrestling. Um, you can follow Rampage, all their links are going to be down below. Uh, so will Valhalla Visions, so definitely give them a like and a follow. And as you can tell, this is my final look. And I really hope you guys enjoyed me doing this tutorial as I had fun filming it for you guys. So, I am the Ring Queen Lexa Rose and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye guys.